Hello everybody, my name is Aaron, aka Bully Teeth, and welcome back to the WDRS Smackdown 2 Season Mode. And thank god we're booked. If you missed the last episode, we were not booked for some reason on Smackdown. No one knows why. They didn't explain it. We just weren't. We had a night off. It was nice. Okay. One of the things that did come out of the last episode is Dean Malenko is on a massive losing streak at the moment. He's letting the milkaholics down. But apparently, the, him and Ivory have moved into the tag division to take on the Stooges. So, hopefully they win that. Rose Adam and Sabu, a random hardcore battle royal. Dean Malenko, t not Dean Malenko, Dean Malenko's our boy. Devo Dudley versus Gerald Briscoe. Ken Tigabashi versus D'Lo Brown. We're facing Road Dog again. And the Undertaker, Stone Cold, Kane, and Triple H in the main. When are we ever going to be free of Road Dog? When are we ever going to get a goddamn title match? I made The Rock tap out in the last episode. I tapped out the world champion. And once again, he dipped and he's not on the goddamn show. <laughs> The only member of the Milkaholics not representing tonight is Kurt Angle. But he had a big win last episode. He beat this man, actually, X-Pac. Alright, what's going on? Oh, you didn't know. Who do you think your opponent is tonight? It's the same You're person that you've been fighting all goddamn somebody. year because you just won't leave us alone. <laughs> Oh, squad! Squad's in the house. Kurt Angle, Ivory, and Drus Jericho. The Milkaholics representing. And Road Dog came out alone without DX. Very telling. Alright. Ivory, guide Dean to a victory. I believe in you both. I think you can do it. You can beat the Stooges. Come on, surely. There we go. Wreck the Stooges. Maybe tag team action is where you two belong. You two can go after the tag titles for us. I think you can manage that. Sabu getting the better of Rancid Adam. Taz, Hardcore, Holly, Steve, Blackman, and Al Snow. What does everybody want? Well, apparently they don't want Al Snow. Bob Core getting the victory. Devon and Gerald Briscoe, a very random match, we know I'm here for it. But Gerald's not, apparently. Oh no, he is. He was just having a very bad start in the match. Kenta Kabashi and D'Lo Brown in an Iron Man match, randomly halfway through the show. <laughs> For some reason. And D'Lo Brown beats Kenta Kabashi. This is definitely WWE booking. Or WWF booking, I should say. Alright, Road Dog. Let's do this dance again. We've been booked to face each other 754 times already this year. It's the feud that never ends. Hard cycle Triple H there. What even is that signature? There are a lot of H's in it at least. Alright, here we go. We're apparently just missing each other. We've done this a million times and we still can't work. Did you just clothesline my knees in midair? Who clotheslines someone's knees? There's a move we didn't get in last episode. One of our signature moves, which I've determined to get in this time. 
Donkey Punch. Sell. Sell. Sell, god damn it. There we go, we're gonna win the pick, motherfucker. Oh, I got it. Hit them in the ass. Real kick. Real flipping. Never mind, you're just gonna ram your head up my backside. Go for the flying donkey punch. Oh, I actually hit the baseball slide. Move flipping. Never mind. Chop. I don't know if I'm just eating most of the tar face. Don't know how I hit him there, he kind of just took a bump. Oh. Come on. Close line, there we go, that looked nasty. On your neck, son. Alright, just launch myself at nothing. Get super nice. Okay. Billy gone? Oh god, no, the New Age Outlaws. Billy, who's been having a very bad time about it recently. <laughs> he just got dropped. Just kick him in the back of the head. Where's my back up? Kurt! Kurt, where are you, man? You've not been wrestling tonight. Move, looking. Oh no. Yeah. Aha! Don't get me now. I'm coming to suck it. Fine salt. Kind of deep ankles. Fine salt. Where's my back up? There we go, and it's Dean! Come on, Dean, beat him up. Trying to earn my favour again, aren't you? Yeah, we go! Powerbomb! Into the Texas Club Leaf! And now we walls! Now we walls! And he didn't tap out. What in the blue hell? Go away. There we go. Zero dog, that's how you take advantage. I think in the million times we faced each other, Road Dog has like beat us maybe once. And if memory serves, that was thanks to Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Who we did get payback on, eventually. When Sean forgot that he screwed us over and asked us to help him. <laughs> This is a period of time where Shawn Michaels was completely off his face, so... It actually makes sense that he would have forgot. Alright, what's the next trick? Who's winning the main event? My money at the minute is probably on Triple H. He's been doing the best so far. There we go, I called it. And he beat the most definite weak link in that match. Alright, here we go, SmackDown. Are we booked this time? In the main. I'm still not getting a title match. What the hell? Okay, Tess is Hardcore Holly. Masawa, Goodfather, and Bubba Ray. Viscera and Rodney, Pekas, Perry Saturn, Gerald Briscoe, Mark Henry, Edge and Bradshaw, Scotty Duarte, Eddie Guerrero, and our boy Kurt Angle, Shane McMahon versus China, and then we're in the main event with Road Dogg as a special referee against Stone Cold. We are most definitely not getting screwed. It could go either way to be fair, because DX both hate me and Stone Cold, so it, it could go either way. Rodo's just gonna leave the shirt in the ring and leave. <laughs> just gonna be like, nah, screw you both. 
the man on his own. Where is my team? I know Kurt Angle's blocked tonight. We saw it. Nobody else booked? Well, the rest of our team are booked, I don't believe. It's just me and Kurt. Bob calls on a bit of a roll at the minute. Sour Goodfather and Bubba Ray. Realistically, this match would be incredibly one sided, but because of how this game works, somehow the Goodfather won. <laughs> He I expected the least likely to win the match. There's a bit more happening on this SmackDown than the last SmackDown. We sat on a chair. Oh, and now I'm talking trash. So am I calling out Stone Cold or am I calling out Road Dog? Why are DX here? Triple H, Stephanie McMahon and x Packer here. I am facing none of you. None of you are even in the bloody main event. None of you are the ref. Why was DX there? Triple H, Stephanie McMahon and x Pack all showed up. But not Road Dog or Stone Cold, who I'm actually in the main event with. What's going on? So those of you that are unaware, the original series for this game, the original uh, season mode with Taka Mishinoku got to about this point. It got to Armageddon, which is the pay-per-view after this show. And then it died. Armageddon happened, and then the game just decided to erase the save. No idea why. But it completely, like, Erased the entire save on the game, so I had nothing. I had to start completely from scratch. I don't know whether that's going to happen again. <laughs> we shall find out together. Oh, Shane McMahon is asking Chris Jericho and Ivory to interfere? Why would I help you? I hate the McMahons. No. We have been having so many issues with you guys and DX. I am not getting involved again. <laughs> I am not sticking myself in the middle of more of your drama, Shane. This is the third time this season you have asked me to help you. No, it's not happening. Face China on your own. <laughs> Win, lose or draw. Face China on your own. God damn it, Kurt. You came so close. Go, Shane. Let's see how you do without us. Not doing too badly. For a minute, okay. <laughs> That's why you needed our help. Alright, here we go. Jericho, Austin, Referee Road Dog. For some reason, Triple H, X Pac, and Stephanie McMahon have been paying attention. And talking trash to us. I know Road Dog's part of their team, but still. Gotta skip all of this because, you know, copyright stuff. Okay. I feel we can do this. I believe in us. I, be I believe that we have the power. <laughs> or something like that. Alright. Road Dog, you look ridiculous. 
Oh god. Donkey punch. No! Austin did not want to be donkey punched. Clearly it's not on Austin's list of things that he likes. There you go, you got donkey punched anyway. Nice flip bump, Steve. And... Never mind. Went for the wheel kick. Didn't happen. We beat you many times. That one called. First thing you can see is Scorpion Death Drop. Work those shitty knees. Another Scorpion Death Drop. And... Just punch him in the face. Why not? Yep. Flying Donkey Punch. God damn that clothesline. Yeah. Missile drop. You blocked that. How did you block that? Basically, you just turned me into a puppet. I'll let the imagery uh, for everybody there just be a thing for a while. <laughs> yep. Jump. Ah, stop a mud hole in him. Walk and dry. Ah, he's caught him. You were just not selling for me at all, are you, Steve? Nope, he is not. Good God! I'm selling for you, apparently. Since when did you leapfrog? When does Austin leapfrog? Like ever? On your neck, son. No. Oh. God damn it! I had she knows that for a second. Finally, backbreaker. Welcome to Winnipeg, motherfucker. Moon flipping, kind of. Off the ropes. Nice. Ah, oh, damn it, he got off. Drop kick, nothing. Hit it with the walls. Ta. What? Down. If I roll you over and come on, baby. Five, two, three, Somewhat of a quick count, Roadblock. I kind of forgot you were there. It's always great when you forget the ref special referee's there. He actually acted like a normal referee. He just sat in the corner and did nothing. Mildly disappointed there, Road Dog. I expected more shenanigans. But either way, that is going to do it for this episode. So thank you everybody so much for joining us in this one. It's been a genuine pleasure as per usual. Like, comment, subscribe, you know, all the fun stuff. And we will see you in the next one. Bye!